Hey everybody, how's it going? All right, got my new toy. This is a Creality Ender 3 version 3 SE. So it's like their, their entry model. Uh, I ordered uh, another one, uh, the Pro version. I got it, it was dead out of the box. Uh, the keypad, nothing was working, the, I mean, I mean, the little pad there. Nothing was working on it, the, the bed was rusted. So I think it was probably like damage in shipment or something. Anyway, so I sent it back. I said, oh, I'm not gonna get another 3D printer. And then I saw this one, saw a lot of good reviews on it. I bought it, set it up. Setup time was like 20 minutes tops. Within 10 minutes after that, I was already printing stuff. Uh, the only downfall was the plate, the printing uh, platform that came with it. And that thing sucked, nothing would stick to it. Uh, it's, uh, anyways, the first few prints were perfect. And after that, it just went downhill from there. So I bought this one online, the uh, the new bed. This is a, I think it's called PLE, something like that. Anyways, uh, it's an upgraded bed. And man, this thing works really well. And really well, it's been printing now for a couple of days with it and it just prints beautifully. Uh, I'll show you the screen. Yeah, let's see that. Yeah. Once you do the bed leveling and everything. Oh, what I did is I went to it last night. I've been printing it uh, for a couple of days now. I've been playing with it. All the screws, every single nut, every single screw on this thing, you have to go through it. Every one, like if you look down here, these screws here, down, down there. Take the top off here on the magnet, magnet all the bolts were loose. The gantry up here, every bolt was loose, the drive, everything was loose. Um, you have to go through everything. What I did is, uh, what holds the gantry down, down there, there's, there's three bolts underneath. I put a Loctite on them, um, so they don't come loose anymore. But uh, the belts were starting to slack off a little bit, so everything, I went through every single thing. Um, and then what I did this morning, I did a bed level on it, and uh, check the Z offset and what it gave me was perfect because it seems to be working really nice right now. The other day uh, I was using it and uh, the Z offset was like at zero. So I said, oh, this is great. I'm going to use it and nothing sticking to the bed. It's all popping off and I noticed how high it was. So I manually put it down to a negative 2.09 and then uh, it worked fine. It worked beautiful. I made a lot of prints with it already. And then uh, this morning when I did the Z offset, it gave me 2.19. So I know it's in, the, in there. I want to show you guys something else, all the prints I've done. Hang on, let me move my leg out of the way here. <clears throat> it's just a little toolkit I put together for it. All these things I've made so far. I made camera mounts. Uh, several wire holders. This. These things are going to be for my Radio Master uh, boxer. The shoulder switches, I'm going to put toggle switches on. So I'll probably do a video on how to do that. Well, I did these, these are fun. You know, I'm into kayaking. I made a mini kayak. I get one to my buddy. He's into kayaking. And this one for Painless 360, Happy Flying. I like this little keychain. Beautiful, that's cute. So I did all those in the beginning when I first got the machine and just hacked around. And it comes with everything, but it doesn't come with scrapers. I just bought a metal scraper. It's like an inch, inch and a half wide. That's it. Um, Besides that, no, it's a lot of fun. These things are great. I've been printing up a lot of stuff. Um, I made a new uh, mount for my uh, FPV plane for the camera and my uh, uh, my walk snail. I put the whole thing on the canopy. It was really cool. So that's it. That's it. I'm enjoying it. If there's anything else, I'll let you guys know. But for now, oh, and uh, if you want to ask, what, if you want to know what I'm printing, it's uh, this is uh, Creality PETG. And I'm printing it at uh, 240C for the nozzle temperature and 85C for the bed temperature. And that seems to work the best. All those prints were done with those settings. And it's not 0.2 for the, um, the, the what is it, uh, the filament, the, the output. It's 0 uh, 0.1, I'm gonna say, what is it here? 0.16, I believe it is. So give it a little finer finish. So that's what all these were done. Everything here was done with 0.16 and it seems to make a nice finish to it. Very nice. I'm happy with this. So, so far no regrets. And it was half the price of the other one I had. Anyways guys, that's it. Just thought I'd show you that. Take care.